Gary Sykes, um, fellow Yorkshire man to two guys I'm doing books on. Uh, I'll talk to you about Nick Manners first. Um, so you're West York. Nick's, Nick's West, West Yorkshire. Yeah. Nick was in your corner for your last fight, wasn't he? There he was. Look, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know why I know that? It's because I was with him the day before and I was astonished that the bookies... Oh, yeah, yeah, because... I just 10 to it. 1 and I think Nick even got like 11, 12 to 1 or something yeah. do you know what I mean it was unbelievable but that them odds were ridiculous really I know the, the outcome was yeah but, it was fast it was definitely fast yeah yeah but Nick so Nick's got a biography called Front Gotta Get Through This uh, who's done the forward Joe Calzaghi's done the forward uh, I come across the name Nick Manners 2015 and it was, um, I was researching the life and times of Paul Sykes, and on the Leeds forums, it kept saying, oh, Nick Manners, Sykes, he wasn't this, when Nick Manners ironed him out at Ellen Road. So that's that was my induction. Um, how, was, how do you find Nick, and do you much training with him, or is he he's a face on the Yorkshire boxing scene, isn't he? Like, he's a personality. Yeah, I think he, as well, he likes his own voice more than him. <laughs> yeah. But, That's Nick. Yeah, but yeah, he's, I never really trained with him thoroughly. Mm. But yeah, I, re I remember him. Nice guy. Yeah. Part of the uh, Josh Warrington team for over eight years, maybe eight and a half, something like that. So yeah. amazing, really, when you think how. I'm not being funny, but I can't see any. There's no young kids in Yorkshire that jump out and think. Particularly Leeds, do you know what I mean? Like, who will do what Josh Warren's done again? No. There's a guy from Jersey called Corey O'Reader, and he's, he's one to watch. Is he? Yeah. You know, but in the greatest of respect, I just can't see the, the Jack Batons and all that going to. Yeah. When you think of Josh Warrington's done it, British Commonwealth, you every level, intercontinental, yeah. whatever. Um, Nick Manners, is, so his book is obviously covers the incident with um, Paul Sykes. That's the first chapter, actually. It's because uh, obviously that was the second knockout of the night. So Nick fought at Ellen Road. Um, guy Lee Crocker, who who had been on the door for years and boxed and never ever been stopped. And Nick Nick flattened him in about twenty one seconds. Broke his leg on the way down as well. Okay. But there's a lot of like the thing with Nick's story is you probably don't have to be a boxing fan to to read it. It it ups and down and prison and you know he was a bad lad don't you kind of thing kind of yeah <laughs> the, the first time i got to know i heard about nick was mm. because when i first came pro i, I was with my old boxing uh, coach keith amateur boxing coach keith kate mm. and he signed me for the best deal i could get me rather than he got the, he went for the money with uh rick nick's brother called rick mm. So I signed with, with Rick. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah Rick managed for two fights. I'd only had two fights in 14 months. Right. And then when Julian got on board, he got me he got me a proper, a proper deal. Right. What was Rick Manners like then? Was he... Obviously. He's, uh, yeah. He's, um... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think. It, it, that's in the book as well. Nick kind of covers that in the book, and it's not for me to say, but um, I think it basically was the reason how he knew he was going to retire. You know, kind of certain people, and but uh, he is he is a character. Nick, I I was drawn to him, and um, when I first met him, so I spoke him till I'm fifteen. Do you know the first time I met him was the day before your know, Luke Campbell fight, and I met him, and for whatever reason, he stuck on my head. For like a long time, and I didn't even know that it was good or a bad reason, but he stuck. He was someone. He made an impression on me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And we we spoke for years, kind of possible book, and then it died away. And then he asked me last year, and I was like, yeah, straight away. And that and he's the book now. I avoid. Do you know what I mean? Kind of, but I knew him. I trusted him, and uh, he does. He has an unbelievable story. Do you know what I mean? It's how boxing can. I think I Nick. He used boxing as a vehicle to change his life. And, you know, he wasn't a super champion with all his... He, he won a belt. He won um, a northern area. But 
he used boxing to change his life from being in prison, all that shit like, to, to what he's doing now. You know what I mean? It's all positive with Leeds Council and all this. And Any funny Nick Manor stories? No, not really, no. Not at all. Last word, last word goes to about Nick Manor then. Well, no, he's a good guy. Yeah. Handsome guy as well, if you're watching, Nick. And, uh, yeah, Front, got to get through this. It's going to be coming out. Uh, it's in the stages of being proofread now. So um, it's definitely a book. 92,000 words. So I think the average book in this genre, genre, I remember how to pronounce that name, is uh, 70 to 80,000 words. So it is a big, big book. Gary, always a pleasure, mate. Thanks for your time.